okay we have uh, so far we have learned so many types of uh, 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 form elements that we can use okay so now I'm going to teach you another three more all right the first one is quite easy okay uh, we have color all right so maybe what you want to have like um, uh, you order something online and then you want to select your preferred color so what you can have is you can display a color palette like this okay and then you can choose the color that you want and then you can select so how to get this particular output the type that you use is actually color uh, make sure your spelling uh, it is following us spelling that means don't put a u c o l o r give a name and this value is a default value okay as you can see if i refresh okay as i load this is the uh, color that is derived from this particular uh, color code this is a hexadecimal color code eh? so whenever you see a hash in front so the following will be the hexadecimal value of the color so it will be from 0 up to f 0 to 9 and then a to f all right those combinations so if you do something like this the default value will be this so you can play around with this color combination you can even get it from the internet okay hexadecimal color values all right you can search for that okay that is for type color all right sometimes for your form you require the user to choose from a drop down something like this can you see okay i have different types of uh, states here so the user can actually choose one okay so for that purpose you use the select tag together with options given so the one that you see dropping down here are actually the options dropping down okay so you have the select tag give it a name all right and then you have all the options that you want to give the user so you have the value as well as another duplicate uh, word which is the same as the value all right okay now what is this for and what is the value for the option for okay let me explain to you eh? let's say i remove this i remove this and see what happens refresh i can't see what i'm supposed to choose okay so from here what can you understand whatever that i put here between the option tag okay this part is actually for the user to see and choose all right whatever that is being put inside here is actually for the computer to uh, take uh, for further processing all right so both are required and another thing is uh, it doesn't mean that if outside i put melaka inside i must have melaka as well no maybe i can put codes for it maybe i can put like um, a i can put b but make sure it's different all right i can put c i can put d so A equals to Melaka, B equals to Kedah, C equals to Pahang, D equals to Johor. If you want that. Okay. But if you don't want it, you want to refer to the original value, then you can put the full term of it. Like this. Okay. So if, let's say, you want a default value to be displayed. If you feel that most of the customers are from Kedah, so you want to automatically show kada okay instead of melaka so what you can do is you can put at the kada option okay you can put selected that's it that is the uh, property that you put in so if i refresh the form automatically kada will be selected why because i put selected at option for kada simple right so this is a normal drop down uh, box uh, sometimes they call it as combo box as well so you only choose one okay right here at the bottom here there's another type uh, it looks the same but it's slightly different this is for category 
and instead of having the same value for the option I put one two three just now I did I showed you by using ABC it's up to you what you want to choose but make sure the codes are unique okay so I want to show you something different here all right I don't want to show you the same drop down but I want to show you a list all right so what I can do is I can show you something like this um, I can put um, one thing I can if I want uh, want it to be like being chosen um, uh, I want to choose multiple values I can use the word multiple okay here I didn't use the word multiple eh? so here I'm using the word multiple okay let's see what happens okay I'm going to add one more size equals to let's say three okay save this and refresh what can you see if I put size 3 that means it will show straight away 3 items ok just now I didn't put size so it only shows, shows 1 and then you click it drops down ok here because I, showed, I, I put the size as 3 straight away I can show 3 items at one go ok let me add one more one more option okay let's put one more option give it a name uh, this will be the value will be four and maybe here i can put maybe glass items all right save this and so here still you'll see three because the size i've put it as three but there's a scroll bar i can scroll down and choose my items okay the size is actually for uh, viewing purpose how many lists you want to view at one time alright now this one they call it as a drop down box this one they call it as a list alright and here I've added multiple multiple meaning I can choose more than one just now I could only choose one alright here I can choose more than one ok let's say I want gardening click on gardening I go down I want to choose glass as well so I click on control on my keyboard press on control and then glass so I have chosen two so easy all right that is a list and if you want to have multiple choices okay so in this lesson I've shown you how to use color I've shown you how to use a drop down box and why is it being duplicated here the reason behind it what is selected okay and I've shown you a list whereby you can show a few items and you can also choose a few items as well but here I didn't use selected but if you want you can actually do so